There were a single supplement backed by hundreds of peer-reviewed studies for performance, muscle growth, brain power, and even mental health. It's, drum roll please, creatine monohydrate. You've heard of it, you might even be taking it, but you probably don't know just how powerful it is and how many people could benefit from it. All right, so let's break it down. Creatine is actually a natural compound that your body makes, and you also get it from food like red meat. It fuels your cells by boosting something called ATP. ATP is your body's rapid fire energy molecule. During short bursts of effort, like lifting weights, sprinting, solving complex problems, your cells burn through ATP. And that's where creatine comes in. Creatine monohydrate, as a supplement, turns into creatine phosphate. And that phosphate recharges your ATP instantly. It's sort of like a cellular battery backup system for your muscles and your brain. All right, so who should be taking this stuff? The short answer is, Sort of everyone. Athletes are the obvious answer because creatine boosts strength, power, and muscle mass. But here's the twist. Older adults might benefit just as much. In people over 60, creatine plus resistance training leads to greater strength, better mobility, and even improved memory. Another group of folks are definitely vegetarians and vegans. They often start with lower creatine stores, and studies show that they see even bigger gains in muscle and memory performance when they supplement. And lastly, in the clinical world, creatine supplementation shows promise for treating muscular dystrophy, depression, and even traumatic brain injury. Okay, so how much do we need? The best evidence we have is to take five grams per day. And you can either load it by taking 20 grams a day for five to seven days, or just take five grams a day, and it'll take your muscles about three to four weeks to fully saturate. Consistency is what matters here, taking it every day. All right, so safety and side effects. Despite what you may have heard, creatine does not harm your kidneys, even in long-term studies. This has been proven over and over again. You might gain a little water weight, but that water is gained inside the cell, so it doesn't actually cause bloating. The extra hydration in your muscles actually is part of the benefit. And despite other hyped up versions, creatine monohydrate is the most studied, the most safe, period. We even have studies from people taking it every single day for five to 10 years, and no adverse events have happened. So in summary, creatine is safe and effective for pretty much everyone. They'll always consult with your doctor before taking a new supplement. Thanks everybody for watching and please subscribe to SuperAge for more breakdowns in the future.